the world is watching. Hi guys, it's Dave from Real Life and welcome to today's video. As we saw on last night's Smackdown, the go-home show to WrestleMania 40, we saw a match changed last minute. Yeah, it, we was meant to get at WrestleMania night one. Rey Mysterio, Dragon Lee versus Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar. But uh, Dragon Lee was attacked backstage. Uh, yeah, as we got went to the footage, it was... Uh, Carlito who found him in this state uh, we didn't know at this particular time who had attacked uh, Dragon Lee not even if he was uh, able to compete uh, we did fast forward then to the match between Sir Selena Vega and uh, Electra Lopez where we saw Andrade introduced as part of Legaro del Fantasma but as that match progressed and a beatdown occurred with uh, Ray and Selena being attacked by Dominic, uh, Electra, and of course Santos. It was Andrade who would then show his true colours and join LWO, attacking both Dominic and Santos Escobar. We cut to backstage and then we find out by a referee that El Dragon Lee will be unable to compete at this year's Mania, leaving a spot open for Ray Mysterio's tag team partner. This spot did go to Andrade, which left a rather surprised look on Carlito's face. I mean, Carlito, for the last two weeks, has uh, looked a little bit uh, with discontent, uh, obviously finding out last week that uh, Ray's partner would be Dragon Lee. He wasn't happy about this. And, of course... We saw Dragon Lee being attacked. Oh, we saw the aftermath of him being attacked. Carlito walked into the dressing room to address that situation as well, only to find out that Andrade had been chosen. Yeah, I feel that whatever plan, what was in place by Carlito, has backfired twice. I think Carlito was looking to be Ray's tag partner at WrestleMania 40. And then when he found out it was Dragon Lee... Yeah, no spoilers here. I think that Carlito attacked Dragon Lee, hoping that Ray would choose him to be his partner at WrestleMania 40. I do think this is also going to lead to a Car Carlito heel change. Yeah, I, I, do, I don't really like Carlito as a face. If I'm being brutally honest, he was well known as a heel. Uh, joining Legado del Fantasma just seems the perfect choice. And, uh, yeah, I feel that with nobody really owning the attack on Dragon Lee on last night's SmackDown, it leaves really only Carlito as the main suspect, as he was the one who saw Dragon Lee first. I mean, he could have attacked Dragon Lee and then pretended that he was the first one there. Uh, yeah, hoping, hoping that Ray would choose him to be his tag partner at WrestleMania. Obviously, it's all backfired. We will see this play out uh, maybe tonight at night one at WrestleMania, uh, where that match is now taking place with Ray Mysterio and Andrade taking on Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar. Maybe Carlito gets involved, costing Ray and Andrade the victory. I don't know. Uh, I feel that Dominic needs a win. He lost last year at WrestleMania against his dad. I feel that him and Santos are going to walk out victorious this time round. Yeah, honestly, San, uh, Carlito is certainly one to be looking out for uh, at WrestleMania, even if not WrestleMania, definitely next week SmackDown. Uh, yeah, I'm really seeing uh, something in Carlito, which has uh, been happening for the last two weeks, and I feel that he could be the one what joins Legado del Fantasma at the end. Let me know what you think of this theory in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah, get ready as we are going down, down the liver. Yes, later on today. And then we've got night one of WrestleMania, if my voice can hold out, of course. Still full of cold, but a little bit more rested than what I was in that SmackDown live stream. So, yeah. Anyway, without further ado, I am going to call it a day. And uh, enjoy the rest of WrestleMania, baby. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. I'd be Dave in real life. You guys have been awesome. Until the next time. Bye for now.